Hi, this is Ben with MakeUseOf.com. Did you used to have an iPhone and you switched to an Android phone? Or maybe you use both? Whatever the case, we're going to show you how to access all the iCloud account content that you want to access on your Android phone. Now before we get started, you should know that you can actually access a lot of your iCloud content uh, in a browser. So on a desktop computer or a tablet, um, you can actually go to iCloud.com, sign in with your Apple ID, and you'll be able to access all the content you see here, um, including basic versions of pages and numbers, uh, your notes and reminders, your Apple Mail, and other content like this. Now, the problem is that while you can access this page on Android, as we'll see shortly, you can't access all this content through Android. So we're going to show you ways to make your uh, Apple Mail, uh, reminders, contacts and all that other content easier to get on your phone. So let's get started. First we'll look at how to access your iCloud Mail on Android, which is pretty simple. To begin, you're going to want to log into your Apple ID using any browser on any device that you like. Just head to appleid.apple.com as you see here. Once you're logged in with your Apple ID, you'll see a page with all your account information. Under the security section, you'll see the app specific passwords header. Go ahead and click that and then enter a label for the password like Android Mail or something so you remember what it is. When you hit create, this page will show you a temporary password that you're going to use to authorize mail on your phone. Apple does this so that you're not using your iCloud password to log into third party apps, so you'll need to use this password instead. Keep it handy because we're going to need it in just a moment on our phone. Next, on your Android phone, you're going to want to open your email app and add a new account. I'll show you how to do it with Spark Mail here, and in settings we go to Mail Accounts, and then we tap Add Account, and then you'll see iCloud here, where you can enter your email address for iCloud and that password that we just generated. If you use the default Gmail app, it's also easy to do this. Open up the left sidebar, scroll down to the bottom and tap Settings and then choose to add an account. Now, Gmail doesn't have an iCloud option, so instead we're going to want to hit Other, and then from here, go ahead and type in your iCloud email address, and then it'll ask you for that password, and right when you're done doing that, it'll sync all of your iCloud email over to your phone before long. Next, we'll move on to syncing your iCloud contacts to Android. Now, you can do this pretty easily by exporting all of your contacts from your iCloud account, then importing them into your Google account. To start, go back to the iCloud website on any browser and click on the Contacts button. When you do that, you'll be brought to a page where you can manage all of your Apple contacts. Make sure they're all in here as you want them. You can select everyone or you can select a specific group if you'd like. When you're ready, go ahead and click the gear on the bottom left and make sure you choose Select All. You can also hit Control A in the list to select all the contacts. Then click the gear again, hit Export V Card. And after a moment, you'll be able to save that file on your computer. The default name is fine. It'll be in that VCF format. Go ahead and save that. And then the next step is easiest if you use Google Contacts on your Android phone. If you don't use the Google Contacts app, maybe you use the default Samsung app or whatever, you can just transfer that vCard file that we saved onto your phone using cloud storage like Dropbox or a USB cable, and then import it into the app in, a, in the same way we're about to do here. But if you use Google Contacts, you can do it all on your computer. So open up Google Contacts on the web and sign in if you need to. Then on the left side, click Import and it's going to ask you to find a file. Click Select File, and then go ahead and browse to the file that we just saved, the vCard file. Choose Import, give it a second, and it will go ahead and import all the contacts that we had from there. And then you can use them in your Gmail. You'll see that it creates a label called Imported on Today's Date. Um, you can use that if you want to. You can do whatever you want to do here, change their pictures, edit numbers, add addresses, um, whatever you want to do. And then, of course, since they're in your Google Contacts, they'll sync to all your Android devices where you're using Google Contacts. So that's all you have to do for that step. Next, we'll move on to how to sync your iCloud calendar to Android. Now, the best way to do this is by publishing the contents of your iCloud calendar over to Google Calendar. It's not a perfect method because you're not going to be able to see all the information that iCloud Calendar stores when you look at it in Google Calendar. And also, this is a one-way sync, so you're not able to edit events that are on your iCloud Calendar in your Google Calendar. There are apps that are supposed to help you sync these, but in our testing, they're pretty out of date and most of them cost a few dollars, so this is good enough for free. So as we've been doing, go ahead and head back to the iCloud desktop site and open up the calendar. When you're there, you'll see all the calendars in your iCloud account on the left side. Now it's a little hard to see with the dark theme I have, but next to all these calendars, you'll see a little Wi-Fi looking icon that says Share Calendar. Go ahead and click on that next to the one you want to share. And then check the public calendar box and you'll get a big link that you'll want to copy. Now keep in mind that whoever has this link can access your iCloud calendar, so make sure that you don't share this with anyone except yourself. 
Now, once you've copied that to your clipboard, head on over to your Google Calendar, which you can also access in your browser. Along the left side, you should see My Calendars and Other Calendars. Click the plus button next to Other Calendars, and you'll see a list of options. Hit From URL, and then it'll ask you the URL. Go ahead and paste it in. You don't have to make it publicly accessible unless you want to share it with other people. Once you click Add Calendar, give Google Calendar just a moment and it should add it for you. When you go back along the left side, you'll see the calendar that you just added. It'll probably have a weird name, so you can click on it, choose Settings, and then change its name to iCloud Calendar or something like that. Now, like we said, do note that this is a one-way solution, so when you edit something there, it's not going to sync back to your iCloud Calendar. However, if you're switching from iPhone to Android, you can use this to move all of your existing events over and then just use your Google Calendar going forward. Next, we'll talk about syncing your iCloud notes to Android. Now, the best way to do this is to go ahead and open up the Settings app on your iPhone, and then go into Passwords and Accounts. Now, if you haven't already, you'll want to add your Google account to your iPhone. To do that, tap on Add Account, select Google, and then proceed with the steps to log in. Once that's done, head back to the main Passwords and Accounts page. There, you're going to want to tap on uh, your Gmail account that you just added, and you'll see a couple of sliders here to let you choose what you want to sync. Make sure that you have the Notes slider selected here, and then when you go into your Notes app, you'll see a header called Gmail. And anything you create inside that header will sync to the Gmail app on your phone and everywhere else. And once you've done that, go ahead and open up the Gmail app on your Android phone. And on the left side where you have all of your labels and different accounts, you should see a new Notes section. Now when you tap that, you'll be able to see the notes that you've synced from your iPhone in the Gmail section over here in your Gmail, and it just appears like an email. Now, obviously, this is pretty clunky, so it can be a good way to get all your notes over to your new Android device if you're switching for good, but if you're going to be jumping between Android and iPhone, we do recommend using a different free note-taking app, like Simple Note is a really great one. It'll work on both devices, it'll make syncing really easy, and you won't have to go through Gmail. And also, in a pinch, if you do want to, you can head to the iCloud uh, website, on your phone like we talked about, and if you head into the notes section, you can access them all there. This is one of the few things that actually does work on the iCloud website on Android, so you can use that if you want to, um, but it's probably better to just move to a different solution if you're going to be jumping back and forth. Next, we'll look at how to access your iCloud photos on Android. So some more good news here, just like notes that we looked at a minute ago, photos are actually one of the things you can access through the iCloud website on Android. So you can open up the iCloud site in Chrome or whatever browser you use, and then if you tap on the Photos section, you can actually look at all your photos right here. So this is a much more convenient method than syncing them. And what's even better is that when you open up iCloud photos on your phone, you can actually go ahead and download them all to your Android phone. So this is a really easy way. If you've synced them all from your iPhone and you want to move them all to your Android phone without a lot of fuss, you can do so right here. So to do this, tap on Photos like we are here, hit Select in the top right, and then in the top left, hit Select All to choose all your photos. In the bottom right, hit the three dot button to bring up some more options. And then once you do that, just hit download, and then I'll go ahead and start a download with all of your images. Now, obviously, if you have a lot of pictures, this will take a while, so you might be, need to be a little patient. But that'll download a zip file that you can access in your file manager app, and you can just unzip those files and put them in your camera roll folder or wherever you want to be able to access them uh, for safekeeping in the future. Now we're going to wrap up just by covering a few other pieces of iCloud and Apple content that you may be wondering how to access on your Android phone. So one of the big ones we haven't talked about yet is reminders. Now you might have noticed a minute ago that when I was accessing the iCloud site through my phone in Chrome, there was no reminders app. Now other people have been able to access reminders through this interface, so it may be something that Apple is rolling out slowly and not to everybody at once. We're not 100% sure right now. At the time we're recording this video, Apple did just update the iCloud site a few weeks ago to include all this and make it so easy to access uh, from Android and other devices, so maybe in the future they'll update it to include more functionality, we're not 100% sure, but um, there's no real good way to move your uh, iCloud reminders over to uh, your Android phone. Um, there was an app called Open Tasks that does work for this, but it requires that you use uh, one of those apps we mentioned earlier for syncing your calendar that's just out of date and not really that great. So um, we don't recommend that you use one of those. It's probably best to just use a free cross-platform task app like uh, Google uh, Tasks or Microsoft To Do. Both of those work on Android and iPhone and make it really easy to move your tasks over. Um, it's not too difficult to do that. 
Otherwise, pretty much the only other piece of iCloud, if you can call it that, uh, content you can access on Android is Apple Music. Um, there's an Apple Music app for Android, and so of course you can access all your playlists and all that content on there. Um, but that's pretty much it. So hopefully this helped you access um, as much iCloud content as possible uh, on your Android phone. Um, iCloud Drive and other content, unfortunately, is just not as easy to get to on Android, um, but you do have that iCloud site to log into, and hopefully that helps. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to make use of YouTube channel where we post uh, tips and tricks like this uh, regularly, as well as reviews of the latest tech. And uh, be sure to follow the link in the description to read the full article for more information. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.